So first things first, make sure you have fired up Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to share my screen, specifically uh, Visual Studio Code. Share. All right. Great. And then after that, turn, make sure the chat window is open. So I can see when you want to ask questions over there. Make sure that uh, you either direct your questions to everyone or to me specifically. Uh, otherwise, I won't be able to see your questions. Okay, and finally, uh, make sure you have a copy of the course right up. So you can try your hands at typing out the code. So uh, this part of the lesson is pretty straightforward. So look at uh, the code block to do with the number guessing game. So see if you can find uh, that exact code block. It will be after the Hello World code block. And just start keying that into uh, the, the new file that you will be creating. So you see that I have a blank file. It's not detecting it as a Python file yet because I have not saved it as a .py file. So if you want uh, it to be a lot more straightforward, you can always start off first by saving the file as a .py file. So I'm just going to call this number underscore guess dot py. Ta -da. All right. And now it's detected that it's going to be using a Python interpreter. So we had a lot of uh, cool de debugging problems yesterday, which uh, means that now I know to uh, check with you all, make sure that you have a Python interpreter selected. So right here, bottom left-hand corner, you can see I have a Python interpreter uh, that's already selected by VS Code, Python 3.8.5, 64-bit base conda. I'm going to click it so that it pops up the command palette. And here you can choose other versions of Python to interpret your Python code if you want. But make sure that as long as it's like uh, something in the tree, tree series, that will be fine. So, okay. Lafa is in. Okay, admit. Okay. Thanks, Atika. Looks like you managed to get in touch with her. Okay. So, since we, are, we aren't too far, morning. Oh, wait. She isn't in yet. She is in now. Okay. Excellent. All right. Demonstrate it again. Yes. That's what I'll do. Okay. So, uh, make sure that you have Visual Studio Code open. Make sure you save your file as a .py file. So click File, Save As. Name your, your new file something.py. So today we'll be going through the number guessing game. Hey, yes, Yavi, no worries. Uh, we are still in the early stages. So uh, just make sure that you have Visual Studio Code open. And we are ready to you'll be ready to rejoin us for this class. So the code is on page 10 of the course material. Um, you can probably guess already which Python script it is on our GitHub repository. So you can also go over there and check it out through our GitHub page if you prefer to use GitHub. If it's on our course material, go to page 10 of our python underscore course.pdf file. Right, so make sure that you save it as a py file. And once you have saved it as a py file, uh, can you close this command palette? It should pop up the screen play button, the screen triangle. And using this, you should be able to pass your Python script through a Python interpreter. So I was just like uh, mentioning to everyone how yesterday, uh, we all learned uh, to check, make sure that we have a Python interpreter set up. So some of you needed to install Python in Microsoft Windows 10 uh, explicitly. And after that, in the bottom left-hand corner of your IDE, you should see next to mine, I have main. And then main here is the main branch of 
my GitHub repository. You, you should not have something like that if you did not clone the repository, so ignore that. But this is the important part. You should see something like Python 3. something something. So mine is Python 3.8.5. If uh, you want to see what other Python interpreters you can select, click on that, and it will offer you other Python report, Python interpreters that you like to use. So, for example, I can also switch to my Hello World uh, Python interpreter, which is much newer, three point nine point one, compared to uh, the base Python package three point eight point five. So let me switch to that. Okay, so uh, if you have not uh, caught up or you did not understand uh, whichever, whatever parts that I explained just now, uh, just pop, it, pop up in the chat and tell me if uh, you need any help. I'll give you like 10 seconds or so. If after 10 seconds there are no questions, I'll move on to the next part. Okay, all right, looks like there are no issues. Okay, so next step, I want you to try to manually type in uh, the Python code for the number guessing game. So type it in first, exactly as what you see, and then try to run it. If you are unable to run it, first try to debug your file, uh, check that you have not had any syntax errors. And if you still can't figure out why it's not working, uh, just mention it in the chat or pipe up and then we'll help you out. So I'm, I'm typing it out right now. So let's see. Oh, you can't find Python. Uh, okay, then I'm going to stop sharing. So please share your screen. Let's, uh, let's debug together. Hello, Kelvin. Kelvin, maybe you can share your screen. Yeah. Kelvin. Kelvin, can you hear us? Okay, I'm going to type. Oh, okay. All right, you turn on the mic. Okay, Kelvin, can you share your screen? Yeah, actually, I'm using the laptop. Okay. Oh, your laptop doesn't have the Python, is it? Yes. Oh, then what were you using yesterday? Using the laptop. Ah, that's weird. Okay, uh, share your screen either way. You can share your screen, I think. Kevin, do you see the green the green icon share screen? Yes. Huh, just press you, that. We want to see. Your phone? But my but my Zoom's in computer. <coughs> and my and my program's inside the laptop. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. let, let's let's double check one at a time. Okay. Uh yesterday you installed Visual Studio Code, right? Yes. Okay, where did you install it to? I installed it in the laptop. Okay. So uh is that the laptop you are using right now? Yes. Okay, uh, can you open VS Code? Yes. Okay. Can. Yes, can already. Okay, awesome. All right, so just a problem of misunderstanding. And oh, I okay, think I can okay. hear you. I think I can hear your mom there as well. So thank you very much for assisting. <laughs> okay. All right, awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, anyone else with problems? Okay, none. All right, let's get back to typing. I'm going to continue sharing this portion of the screen, numberguess.py. All right. And then show participants, show chat. All right. OK, 
Okay, just to remind everyone, okay, you should be typing uh, the code as per page 10, 10 in your uh, Python. Teacher, notes, is right? it okay if I like split one is got the answer already and one is I type it out? Yeah, sure. Sure, certainly. sure. That's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. If you want to, if it's easier for you to see comparison, it's fine. Yeah, if you just want to see whether the code itself just works, go ahead and uh, mm. yeah, have two Python files. So you have one where you just copy and paste or download and one you try typing up. So the, yeah. the reason why I want you all to try typing it out is you will understand when you see the mistakes that you make in the syntax by directly typing it out and then problems happen. So once you see those uh, mistakes that you make and you, you try to fix it, uh, hopefully that will induce some form of muscle memory. <laughs> Throwing in a, but, a bit of biology right now. Oh, my master's is in biology, by the way. So that's why some things work the way they do in this class. <laughs> oh, uh, you are echoing. Sorry, you, uh, whomever that was. I think it was Calvin. Are you okay? Yeah. Never mind. Just now, can I see your screen? I see. Okay. Yeah. No worries there. So I'm I'm just typing out uh the code. So everyone should be doing the same thing. So I'm going to guess that. Uh, my typing speed may be slightly faster than some of you, unless you also use touch typing on a sweet, sweet mechanical keyboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so by the time I'm done, I will check back with everyone. Yes, unless you copy and paste. That's cheating, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, yes, if you copy and paste, uh, just try and do a typing on a separate uh, tab, you know, just to, to, just to get into practicing it. Like Juping said, when you type, you will understand it. And then later on, when you run the quotes on both, uh, when you run both quotes, right, Juniet, you will see then where your uh, mistake is or where you miss something and things like that, all right? Yeah, and if you want a higher difficulty level, try typing without looking at your keyboard. Uh, okay, there's a question from Wei Hang. First line needed or not if I'm using Windows 10? I think there's no difference. Oh, okay. User uh, been and used by... No, you don't need it if you are on Windows 10. Mm. But I will explain why it's a good idea to put it in anyway. All right. Hey, thanks for highlighting the question to me. I'm super focused on typing right now. Even if I like open the chat room on, on my phone or tablet, I don't think I would be looking at it right now too. <laughs> I wonder if there's an option for it to like notify me with a, with a, with a sound whenever someone makes a comment. Let me Not see sure if there's a sound, but usually the light up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, there's no sound option to to like make a sound whenever someone types. I guess it can get super annoying if many mm. people are talking at the same time, but this is like one use case where we want the sound to be playing. Okay, after typing the first line, should I set it as interpreter? Um, the first line is, um, yeah, you don't have to do any additional options. The first line is setting it as an interpreter, but in a Unix based system, I would just like, explain it now. It may not make sense, but I'll, I'll delve more into it later on. Uh, oh, you, yeah. What is Alex? Cindy, uh, if you want to know immediately, you can read uh, the documents that else? I prepared. Yeah, it's a, it's a variant of else. Uh, the document will cover it in detail. If you, uh, as like yeah, yesterday, if you are faster than the rest of the class, just take some time to read through uh, my course materials that I've prepared. Uh, I will explain everything afterwards as well during the live demonstration.
I wonder. Can everyone hear my keyboard or is uh, the active noise cancellation working? We can I'm hear typing? your keyboard very well. <laughs> you can hear it. Wow, nice. Thank you very much. That's why I want the keyboard. I want people to actually hear it. Otherwise, what's the point of me buying click these switches? <laughs> Okay, just checking in with everyone. All good? If you have any... Okay, um, so I've already... Yeah, Jupin's already done. Finished so, typing. Yeah. So if you have any questions, just finish typing first. We will go with you one by one. Or not. Was that Justin? No, I just need to test whether my coding can or not. Ah, okay. Yes, go ahead. that's it. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so mine is already, so I'm demonstrating it right now. Pick a number between 1 and 150. Try a smaller number, 30. Try a smaller number, 20. Try a bigger number, 20. No, uh, 25. Try a smaller number, 22. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there we go. I have finished typing it and I've uh, managed to get my program working. So that means I uh, managed to read and type exactly what was in the document on page 10. So now we can check in with, with you all. If uh, you have managed to get the code working, as you see right there in my terminal, uh, just raise your hands or give a thumbs up sign. Let me see what reactions I can put. Ah, thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up is a is more probably more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, give a thumbs up sign if you manage to get it working. Okay, I see a few thumbs up. Let me check. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Chloe, Zerchin, Justin, Jun Yi. Yeah, keep keep it keep it up. Wei you don't Heng, have to lower them. Lawrence. When yeah, we got the job. number right in the second test. <laughs> <laughs> that shot only. Yes. Yeah, one one in fifty chance probability. Yeah. I think Atika had just got her just got her graduate master's degree in mathematics. So she is probably even more familiar with like explaining the probabilities to you. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> that I can say. <laughs> Not in the second yes. guess only. Not in the second guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a statistical improbability. Statistically, it shouldn't. But if it did, then she has some voodoo magical powers of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good luck indeed. You you just you just spent your luck statistically speaking yeah. for the day. So uh, try not to do anything else that was un that's unlucky. <laughs> the number was 50, you no know, wonder. Then yes, it makes sense. One in a 50 chance. <laughs> Ah, yes. Yeah, I would, I would. Yeah, I shot straight for 50 as well. Uh, I, like, I like to choose that number in the middle. <laughs> okay, how's yeah, everyone then. else? Let me check participants. How's oh, everyone yeah, make, else? Make, make sure that your thumbs up is up. Yeah, yeah, you just finish if your code. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you finish your code and it runs, put up a thumbs up. We just want to okay, check. I put the else. yes. You put the yes? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yes or thumbs up is fine. Yeah, keep it keep it up. Uh, unless unless Zoom is doing something weird and putting yeah. your your thumbs up or thing down. Classes are the death of me. Why, Jeremy? What happened? Uh, okay. So uh, I have a quite direct question to directly to me. It's asking. Uh, I saw a guest color script. Do we do that today? So, uh, no, you are not going to do that. Uh, in this class session. So. Mm. Uh, it's very, very good of you to uh, actually point out that there, why is there a third script in our GitHub repository? So some of you are being very good investigators right now. Mm. Uh, so you, can, that, you don't need to look into that, actually. That's just for us. <laughs> not, yeah, not, not for now, but yeah. maybe, maybe. We, we will see after the end of this lesson uh, mm. whether we want to uh, assign that as a challenge for you all. Oh, there's a second training Penang Science class. I think that's Amira. Okay. I think Amira is joining in. 
Yeah, sure. Junit, you want to ask screen? something about it? Oh, you want to share your screen? Okay. I'm going to stop. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Share your screen. Uh, Junit, hold on. Uh. Cool, Let's correct. check with Kelvin and then we will, we will settle with yours. Okay, Junit? Okay. I don't see any coloring. So I'm guessing uh, you don't have a Python interpreter selected. So um, save your file first. So file save, save as, go save as. Okay, name it uh, something.py. Uh, as long as something that's related to the, to the software that you are writing. Uh, make sure there's no spacing in between. So that's the other thing I want to highlight. So if you want to do like number guessing game, uh, you can either remove the space in between. Yep, just like that. Or you can do an underscore dot .py. And save. Teacher. All right. There we go. Is break considered stop all? Yeah, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. I will, I will uh, cover it in more detail afterwards. Right now, we're just making sure that everyone okay, has that code running. So, all right. No worries, Calvin. Good job. Okay. Next is Junit. What's your question, Junit? Junit? Oh, I think Junit was the one who asked the questions. Junit, are you the one asking about break just now? No, no, that was Calvin, I think. Oh, that was Calvin. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, Junit, what's your question? Go ahead. Oh, okay. I also uh... wanted to ask about break. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody's right. in the same boat then. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, reminder again, you can, you can always just read my, uh, my write-up first. But if you need additional details, like in the first page of my document I already like mentioned, feel free to use the internet. This is not the sort of class where I ban you from using the internet to search up things. So if you are waiting for your other friends and compatriots uh, to finish up the writing of the code and you feel like there's nothing to do and you are curious what a sing uh, some function or line does, go ahead and search it up on the web and understand how it all works. Uh, who knows, maybe afterwards while I'm explaining it, uh, I may get something wrong and you can explain it to me how I got it wrong. Okay, so don't forget to put up your yes uh, icon or thumbs up icon, okay? Jia Eun wants to share her screen, go ahead. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, Jia Eun. Uh, everyone else, just a reminder, if your code runs, put up a thumbs up or a uh, yes icon, all right? So that we know who is where, as in your status, okay? Okay, so what's your question? Wait, Jia Eun? Oh, oh. Uh... I think she mistakenly unshare. Let's wait for her. All right. Jian, you you your screen was unshared. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Okay, there we go. It's coming okay. back. Okay, hold on, Jian. Let us see. Mm hmm Okay. So conda, command let's go, blah blah blah. Okay, so there seems to be seems to be something wrong with uh your interpreter in conda. Which is odd. What about ask them to run and debug? Uh, what did you say? Sorry? Go to the run what? and debug icon and then try to huh? run and debug. Aha. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't, I don't see that option on your screen right now. I'm just, uh, I'm just seeing what, what, like it's in the main terminal. So if you have some pop-up that is supposed to be there right now, I'm not seeing it. Um, could you share your entire desktop instead? So maybe maybe it's hiding that, that error message. Okay, all right, still seeing the same thing. All right, uh, click on the play button. Let, let, me, let me see what happens in the terminal when you click on that. Okay, so looks like it works. It looks 
that's how it works. And then after that, it, it cancelled out. So yeah, looks like looks like you just have a you have an issue with debugging. Um, so check for any typos. Trace back file in the module value. Yes, yeah, that, this one looks like it is. It is generally using a Python interpreter, You're using Anaconda trace Python interpreter. Um, and it looks it looks like there's some typo somewhere somehow but if you want to make sure that it's working click on hello world.py right now i want you to click on hello world.py okay try running this program okay yeah all right so looks like you have a typo in your program uh, otherwise uh, the hello world would not work so yeah just take some time see see what's wrong you can always download the, the script from our github repository to see what uh, whether it properly works. If if that one doesn't work, then there may be an issue with with your installation somehow. Okay, okay go for go you. All right, your turn. Okay, let me just check participant wise who's okay and who's not. Uh, okay, more than half still doing it. It's okay, we can wait. Yeah, no worries. I mean, I am touch typing <laughs> and I wrote the wrote the program itself. So <laughs> all right. Syntax EOL when scanning string literal. All right, let's let's see. Uh, it seems that you have Python working. Um, I'm guessing you have a typo somewhere, and it's actually telling you to check out, so investigate line six. I know. Uh, what's the first uh, for the coding there? Just to demonstrate you. There's an error uh, over here. Yeah, that's what you Tadi jiak kan punya. Jiak Okay, so Kuan yeah. Some there is some error somewhere. And I can actually see what the error is, but I want you to try to figure it out. So yes, I see it. It's a typo. You have a typo there. Yeah, Chloe, yes. You direct message me the answer of the typo. You have pretty good eyes. Yeah, bright future there. If you if you have pixel, pixel perfect uh, vision, I just as a, it's something I, I discovered when I was around your age. I have a friend who is much better than me at, at computers. And he actually told me I seem to have a pixel perfect vision. So what that means is if one single dot on the screen is misaligned, I can actually see it because it bugs the hell out of me. That's probably OCD. So, but turns out that it can be a superpower of sorts when you do programming. Yeah, the, yes, uh, Wei Heng, you, there needs to have a space in between because it's a different thing. If the space, the, the equal sign and, the, uh, and the, the exclamation point, they are the ones that should be together. All right, and for Jeremy, well, uh, I, I guess Python is a good language to learn as a beginner's programming language. Uh, but after that, you may want to expand out into trying out other programming languages too. So they, they all have their specific niche. Python is a general purpose programming language. So that means you can pretty much use it for anything. But when you want to get into stuff that's uh, more specialized, like you want to do statistical programming, uh, and you need it to be a high performance uh, uh, machine learning algorithm, for instance, uh, you may actually pick up something like uh, Julia or something like Rust or something like uh, C even, if, if you want to do something like that, or uh, when you're writing a game. So if you're writing a game, for example, um, and your game uh, needs to perform very well, uh, as as well as possible, like 4K resolution, uh, 120 FPS, you probably don't want to write your game in Python because it's it's not going to reach uh, those performance levels as easily. <laughs> ah, yes, the semicolon. Uh, well, a lot of programming languages actually end up using semicolons as well as a way to end a, a, a line in the programming script. It's like, it actually gets easier to learn a new programming language. The, the more programming languages you learn, 
uh, because mo you start to see that there's a pattern to them. And uh, after that, uh, maybe it will take just about half an hour to an hour for you to learn a new programming language. Uh, enough to write something in it or to read another programming language. So unless you really, really need to specialize in a programming language, uh, yeah, usually you will find yourself hopping in between different programming languages, depending on the projects that you are involved with. So this is me like speaking from my experience as a, as a person who does this for a living. So I have to work with several other programming languages, although my, my main programming language can be said to be R. Um, I know enough to pick up something else. Okay, show again the screen. Uh, Kuan Yue, um, what's, uh, what issue are you looking for? I'm no problem, no problem with sharing my script again, if that's what you want. Right, let me turn this down. Okay. All right, Kuan Yue, you asked me to show my screen again. So uh, what are you looking for? Okay, no response. So I'm guessing you are checking to make sure that what I've typed is the same as what is shown in my documents. Exactly the same. Okay, like so that. whose code is not running? Anyone who hasn't raised their hands, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Why no, are there two Kelvins? Uh, Kelvin, one is he's using it for screen, one is for his laptop. Ah, okay. Okay, that's a raised hand from Junyit. I'm guessing raise raise hands for Okay, uh, as in the code runs. The code runs. Okay. Let's uh let's standardize that because everyone has settled on using the tick icon. Mm. So yeah, use the tick icon instead, Junyit. Yep. All right, thank you. Hey, good job, Kan Yue. So once you're done, uh give a tick icon. Uh, okay, if that's a, that's a raise hands to say you're done, uh, turn it into a tick icon. If it's a raise hands to ask a question, uh, then you can unmute your mic and ask away. Okay, you completed. Congratulations. Good job. So we are waiting for Yavi, Kelvin, Kaijin, Kaiwan. Yeah, I can, I can see the, the chat you... screen. So... Yep. Nicholas, the chin, about six, seven of them. Are you guys okay? You're very quiet. Let yeah, us know if you're not concentrating. okay. Okay, I'll let you concentrate then. They're <laughs> concentrating. Yeah, they're debugging right now. They're now figuring out for themselves why, why I asked them to type out the code, even though they can just copy and yeah. paste. Yeah. <laughs> Sinru is fine. okay, still doing. All right, go ahead, Sinru. Uh, uh, Wei Heng has another question. What's a parameter? Oh, what's a parameter? So uh, it's, it's more or less uh, the, the way you understand the, the definition of parameter in English is the same as it is in programming. So it's a def you are defining a certain limit uh, to your inputs or outputs. That's what it means in a programming sense. So yeah, defining a parameter. Yep, yep. Programming is actually a good way to learn English, actually. I have uh, the same friend who, uh, who is better than me at programming when I was around your age. Uh, his English eventually improved immensely as he did more and more programming. <laughs> yep, yep, that's right. If you, have, you are already solving uh, the, the, the first question, oh wait, the second question of in a certain way. Yeah, half of it though. 
Okay. Uh, here's since since a, a bunch of you have already completed the exercise, um, I I want to make sure that everyone is able to finish it before I explain it line by line. But if you would like to challenge yourself, you can actually try uh the uh, question one, modify your code to use else instead of elif, and question two, see if you can solve these two, uh, without me having to explain uh stuff in the code. If you can, that means you have already mastered up uh, the introduction to Python. And uh, I will I will congratulate you and Atika will congratulate you because obviously uh, you are able to learn all the advanced <laughs> stuff now on your own. <laughs> but hey, I want to make sure everyone else is uh, complete first um, before I explain it line by line. So if you're bored and you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and try those two questions. So this is a, uh, this is for those quotes, uh, students' quotes, young. Yeah. Uh, this guessing number it runs right if it runs yeah, yeah okay yes. All right. yes that's right okay so those who put up ticks uh the green tick if you while waiting for your friends to while waiting for your other friends who are finishing up their code you can try out uh the exercise in page 13 test your understanding by trying to modify the code suggestions are uh, based on number one and number two okay so head over to page 13 of your notes. Yeah, so here I will provide you only a minimum amount of help. I won't explain anything if you are already doing the page 13 stuff. Um, because I'm, I'm waiting for everyone else to finish first. So try it out as in challenge yourself. See whether you can do it without uh, needing my help. And if you don't need my help, then really really congratulate yourself because that means you can pick up this programming language on your own from from now onwards and the only thing left that i would be trying to impart to you all is project management of your python uh, uh, programs and how to use git to collaborate and after that i think in 10 years you'll be better than me at this Okay, so I think I'll set, uh, I'll give you all 20 minutes uh, to try to debug everything yourselves. If by 11.10, uh, you haven't managed to got, get your code working yet, um, we will help you debug. So uh, see if you can manage, this, you, can, you can solve all the debugging process to get the number guessing game code running in, 10, in 20 minutes. Okay, so Junyit's question. Uh, okay, so that seems to indicate that um, there is something incorrect about the syntax in the code that you have running. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it'd be better if Junyit, you can I share your error. screen. I have an error. Yeah. But teacher, oh. why is there an elf? Else isn't it supposed to have an elif. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Let's oh. settle Junit first. Okay, Junit, okay. Kelvin, and Junid. then Justin. Okay. Junit, okay. Kelvin, and then Justin. Hold on, I everyone. See. Okay. Junit, uh, because you are trying the questions already, I will not help you here yet. Uh, so try to solve it uh, first. Uh, like if, even with your other questions, I'm sorry <laughs> if I if I go too far, everyone I won't be able to catch everyone up as well. So yeah, just just try try to resolve those if you are trying the the more advanced questions. Okay, Kelvin. Okay, 
So that is indicative of something. Can you try running your code? I want to see the errors. Okay, so it does say invalid syntax. So there seems to be a syntax issue somewhere that is causing you problems. What about you click on the problems? Because there's one problem, put number, got one over there. Okay, and then... Uh, to the output. Yeah, your, okay, let's, uh, let, let's see whether your Python uh, interpreter is running correctly. Can you uh, run the Hello World uh, script? Let, let's see if there are any errors popping up there. So you should be able to click like file open or something. So open your Hello World uh, file. Yeah, I want to just double check to see that your Python script is running correctly. So could you run uh, the hello world uh, .py file? Kelvin, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead, open uh, the hello world.py file. I want what? to make sure. Uh, is it under file open with? Oh, oh, you named it Final Boss. Oh, okay. All right. Final Boss. It is then. Okay. Yes. All right. So, Hello World works. Okay. Then go back to your number guessing game. Okay. So, um, I, I go. I go. Just to do right. this now. Don't put another one bracket over here. So, there's a, some invalid. There's an invalid syntax in column 23. The guess INT. You got to put so, it right. So something. Oh, someone else is talking right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we found uh we found Kelvin's um debugging problem. Oh, okay, you did. Oh it's in line 14, right? Yeah. Line 14. Bracket. Ah, you're missing one bracket, Kelvin. <laughs> Try and see. Line 14. Ah yes. Line yeah. 14. No, no, no. There. Line Wait. 14 uh, to the end after 100. Always oh, two there. Are no more. Yeah, no yeah, less. yeah. So you 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 are missing one to no, close no. both. There's a left. Every time you start a left, you must always have a right. So a left bracket must always be followed by a right bracket. Uh teacher is correct. Kevin, uh, are you listening to me? Kelvin, is it correct now? Kelvin, breathe, yes. Kelvin, breathe. <laughs> okay, breathe, Kelvin. Okay, listen to me. You see line 14? Yes. Okay, guess equals to INT bracket input bracket open code, right? So that is all correct. Pick a number between 1 to 100. You're missing, okay, put your colon. Your colon after 100. Look at your notes. Yeah. Look yeah, at your okay. Notes. I think it's easier, Atika. He, he has to learn how to like write in literal inputs. So, yeah. Kelvin, I want you to check one character at a time. It's yep. the G there, it's the U there, it's the E there. Check it from the beginning to the end. So, okay. you have to be patient here. Um, because when, you're, when you debug code like this, uh, oftentimes most programmers won't help you debug your code if it's just typos. So check every single character. So yeah, that shouldn't take you more than like one minute. For line 40. Yes, it is. Why? All right, let's, uh, let's turn off uh, this share screen then because now it's pretty obvious what the error is. Um, and we have to let you build up those debugging skills. <laughs> and your friends in the chat are, are even trying to help you. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, there, there are a few typos. Teacher, I don't know what colon. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a always always check your script. Make sure that the whatever is written down is exactly what you typed up as well. Think of it as training. Eventually, your eyes will will see those patterns, even even if you don't want to. Uh, I really don't know what's colon. Ah, okay. Colon is uh, the two vertical dots. So when we say colon, I think in kids language, in kids language, it's the dot dot. Yeah, here you go, <laughs> colon. I just type it in the chat. Let's go, colon. Oh, colon. Ah, 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 ah okay. <laughs> and then this is a semicolon. <laughs> All right. And okay, there's a, I know there's a kid's lingo, but if you want to do programming, uh, you have to, you'll be collaborating with people all over the world. So we have to settle on standard names. So uh, make sure that you understand what people are referring to uh, if you do programming in the future. So it's a good idea to pull up your English textbook right now, I guess, uh, or like the char character as a font manager or character manager in Windows, Mac, Linux. You can just type in uh, these symbols and then figure out uh, what they are called officially. Okay, checking in with everyone else. Almost 11 already. Teacher, is this correct? Is it running, Kelvin? If it's not running, then it's not correct. That's as easy as it is. The nice thing about computers is at a certain point, uh, yeah. Yep, if it's not running, that means it's correct. As I, as I mentioned, you have to be patient. Check every single character, every single character. You know the line? Is it running? I don't know that, but it's running. I am holding it. Is it, can I Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay, 100% correct, Eddie? No, this is use syntax error, invalid syntax, whatever. Okay, so Kelvin, that means that means it's just a matter of maybe you missed an alphabet, you missed a, a, a sign or a colon, okay? A colon pula character. So, yeah. so check again. Don't worry, don't worry. This it, 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 it's, it, That's why we have this class. It's an introduction class, okay? So the whole point is for you to understand. Don't worry. So check line by line, check word for word, letter for letter, character for character. All right, we are, we are here. Don't worry. Yep, plenty of time. And uh, in 1110, it's, it's also not a hard limit. 1110 is when we help you out if you still cannot debug the issue. Then we will, we will point no. out the, the problems together. More eyes. Or you can even... Us, I'll, I'll open up the problem to the chat. The chat room can also help you out to debug the issue. So take your time. This is the hardest part about programming, debugging. You'll be spending 95% of your life doing this if you intend to do this as a career. <laughs> so now is also a good time to know whether or not this is the career for you. All right, so I think we can... Uh, Gunheng, oh, you tested with sharing. negative. Negative integers and it works. Okay, that's nice to know. <laughs> we hang tested with negative integers. Wow, Chloe is just pointing out all the errors on the screen right now. <laughs> but it's all direct <laughs> messages. So yeah, this is a good training for, for everyone as well. Um, so yeah, one if you if like I open it up uh like 1110 officially, let's all help each other out. Uh, make sure that if you want to help your friend out to solve their code, uh, send a message to everyone.
oh, okay. Well, Chloe is the one who pointed out to me that I typed in colon and semicolon to her. Oh, of course, I was answering questions. Okay, so again, this is a colon. And this is a semicolon. All right. And let me just keep scrolling up to see if I missed anything else in the chat. So just a reminder, if your numbering game code runs properly, just put a tick, okay? So that we know. Yep. Okay, so while, while everyone is busy working on uh, the code, I'll show one program that I do use. So this is called KCAR Select, uh, K Character Select. It's a, I use Linux, so what I use here may not be available for you on Windows, but you will see something equivalent. So for example, here I just type a colon and it, it found it. I clicked on it and it will tell you the name of this thing is a colon. If I put a semicolon right here for search, it will tell me that the name is a semicolon. So all the symbols here, they have standard names. Like for example, this, this is called, the, the technical name for this is actually left parenthesis. So I should actually prefer it that way. I'll, I'll try to use parenthesis from now onwards. So it's called a quotation. This is a, the apostrophe exclamation, but there is like a, a grave accent. This one, I don't think anyone in programming will understand what this is because we call it a back tick. Well, I guess the, 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 the internationally recognized name is a grave accent. So, okay, here is like where exceptions come in. Is this something you downloaded, Jupi? Uh, no, this one is a standard program in Linux. Uh, it's all, actually, this, uh, these are standard programs in all operating systems. So just uh, search for like a program called like character. You just type in like character, for example, uh, and look for a program that's about searching characters. So you can see that there are a lot of weird characters that are actually printable from uh, your computer, but you just don't know how to type it. So like, for example, I have, I do not know how to speak Thai, but it still has that, uh, that font in my computer. So that's why when you go to websites or someone types uh, in Thai online, you can still see this is the script they're typing in, although you don't understand what, it, how to pronounce it or what it means. So yeah, this is a program called character select. All right, I'll close this. Okay, not too bad. Half the class managing to get the number guessing game typed out correctly. Okay, Calvin, you're sorry again. All right, well, there's still some time before 11.10, so be patient and try to see whether or not you can figure out where your typo is. They said 16 got problem, but I don't know what it is. I put corner also cannot. So yeah, it's um whenever there's a highlight like that, it could mean that there's a problem in that line or there's a problem with one of the components of the code that leads to that line. 
So that's why that's why Atika was uh, referring to line 14, because you can see there's something wrong with that line, but if it's the same as what you typed, then it's something referring to it. So after that, it's guess. So then there's something wrong with the guess line. So check and see what you're missing. This. And you're, you're definitely missing something. And I uh, want you to try to double check carefully with what is written down. Kelvin, do you have your notes with you? Yes. Okay. So are you looking at the notes and also at uh, your code? Yeah, you have a bunch of errors. Mm -hmm. It's not just line 14. Mm. So, so put it side by side, Kelvin, yeah. your notes to the to the uh, code that you're writing. Okay? Yeah. Make sure every single character is accounted for. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to stop your sharing. <laughs> the chat. Yes. So some of your friends already gave you clues, Kelvin. You can check in your chat, okay? If you want, yeah. But uh, this is this is something that uh you have to try to overcome. Yeah. Yeah. If you so programming comes with a uh, patience need is much needed in programming. Mm -hmm. All right. How's everyone else? Yavi. So we know yeah, uh, we know Kelvin has some um, uh, debugging issues. How's Yavi doing? Yavi, are you okay? Yavi, uh, Kaijin, Kaiyuan, and Kuan Yu Zhechin. How are you guys doing? Very quiet. Just let us know how Did you are. I'm, I'm, I'm done, but I know the raised hand icon. Oh, you oh yeah, 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 we forgot. We forgot about those two, Kayen and Kuan Yu. <laughs> forgot oh, about them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They told us yesterday. They told us yesterday they don't have the icons. It's okay, uh, all right. Okay. Okay, okay. So, so, so Kuan Yu is done and who else is done? Sorry? Uh, Kayen doesn't have the icon also. So Kayen, are you done? Let us know in the chat box or through your microphone. Are you done or still testing? Yes, he's done. Uh, okay. okay, all right, you're done. All right. So uh, considering that both of them are done, so we should have a just a handful only. Yes. So, so we are waiting Chin, for Kai Jin, Yavi, and Calvin, I think. Yes. Yeah. So how are the four of you doing? I'm done. Just now I, I raised my hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh keep you must it have missed it. Okay, keep it raised. Yeah. Keep it raised. Keep it raised. Or the yes. tick icon. Tick icon. Yeah, yeah. Use the tick icon. Everyone is using the tick icon. So use the tick icon. I'm guessing. I'm guessing in your schools, your teachers must be asking you to use the tick icon. So let's let's stick with convention then. Yeah. If you're done, make sure the tick icon is raised. So Zhechin, uh, make sure you have the tick icon raised. How's Kaiji? All right. Done. Also. Okay. Done now. All right. Okay. So awesome. Put up the tick. Thank you, Kaiji. Okay, so it's Yavi? just Yavi and Kelvin. How's Yavi? Yavi, how are you doing? Doing fine. Kelvin is okay, all right. Yavi, are yes. you there? Yavi, can you hear us? Let me ask Hello. to unmute. Hello, Yavi? Yes. Yavi? Okay, he's in the chat. All right. Okay. Okay, his keyboard is something wrong. Okay. Uh, all right. Then we can help you out. Okay, one at a time then. So it's just uh, uh, Calvin yep. and Yavi. So, yeah, because... Kelvin, uh, now I want you to share your screen. Yes, okay, we will debug together. 
Okay, so everyone, if you want to see out, uh, catch on the debugging. So just pay attention and make to sure the screen, okay? Yes, and make sure that you have the chat open as well. So open up the chat uh, for while you're sharing your screen. Can you open the chat too? Kelvin, share your whole desktop, not just the screen. Because when you show, show, share the screen only, right, we might miss something. So share your whole desktop. So unshare and share your whole desktop, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we are going to all help Calvin out with debugging uh, together. So Calvin, you share, share your code, that's fine. Um, but make sure you have the chat open as well on the side. And uh, yes, Chloe, this is this is your time to shine. Make sure it's not direct message to me, direct yeah, message yeah, yeah. To, to everyone. Then, then uh, everyone can help uh, Calvin out with debugging the code. So, okay, Calvin, go ahead. Share the entire desktop. Open the Zoom chat. Make sure the Zoom chat is open as well. So you can see the chat at the same time. Okay. Can you, can you get the chat open or is it not? I think it is possible to get the chat open because I was doing that. So uh, you have to click on the, in the Zoom uh, tab, tab, there's a, the triple dot sign. So click on that triple dot and then after that, select chat. So then you can see the chat. Oh, I know why. Kelvin has two, 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 two devices. So his other device is the one checking the chat. This device is purely on the... Ah, uh, visual code. Ah, so he's probably looking at the chat on his other device. So you can proceed oh, with yeah, this. Yeah. You can proceed with this. Okay, yes. So line by line, let's let's go. Okay. So uh yeah, first first line, because it is automatically set as a comment, uh, it won't be interpreted. So that's definitely no issue with that. Second line is blank, third line. Import random. So, so far, so good. Okay, fifth line, you define the main function. That one looks okay as well. Sixth line, uh, that's going to be a dot sign. All right, there you go. I haven't even gotten to that line yet and you already fixed it, okay? So, yeah, you caught an error there. So, yes. And looks like your friends, other friends are also chiming in right now. Okay, so next is, let's see, uh, we are at the blank line. So line nine, x equals random, rand int. So uh, you didn't follow my instructions exactly. You can see I said every character counts. So after the one comma, one, there should be a space. So in line nine, x equals random dot rand int. Left parenthesis one comma space one hundred. Nope, you have to. I think you have to open the file at the same time. Open my my file. The open the uh the course documents, a uh, file so you can look at the same time. Because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I just opened up my file, my uh course document PDF file, and I'm putting it right next to your code, so I can already clearly see what is different. Do you do you have your um do you have the document available? Yeah, make sure. Yes, there we go. You see it. Okay, great. Okay, line 10. Yes, space equals space none. Okay, that is correct. Yeah, okay. And after line that, line 11 is blank. Line 12 is wow space x space. Uh, exclamation point equals space guess colon mm -hmm. okay then line 13 blank okay then line 14 guess space equals int input okay colon and i i haven't gotten to that yet but i see that you have already fixed uh your second right parenthesis okay and then finally, we have the rest. So I'm uh, rather than me reading it all out, I'll just ask you to try uh, running this program. So it looks okay now to my eyes. So I think we, we fixed the problems. 
So click on the, the play icon. Uh, execute your code. Top right hand corner, click on the green triangle. There we go. Okay. Yay, it works. Okay, Kelvin, test it out with everyone. What's the number? So try a bigger number, Kelvin. That means your number is incorrect. Try even a bigger one. Go bigger. Yeah, follow, follow the instructions of the code. Let's it up. Oh, more than 50. Okay, smaller. So go lesser than 70. Even smaller than that. Try bigger than 54. What about 57? No, no, no. Atika, don't give him the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's supposed to figure it out himself. I think I think we I think he's too used to too used to like getting answers. Uh, that's, why, that's why he's having having apologies. problems. Like, Figuring out problems. So this is this is Apologies. a class. Where, yeah, we force them. <laughs> that's why that's why the class is also so long. <laughs> all right. Good job, Calvin. Okay. As you can see just now, that's what I literally did. That's what we are all doing. We just opened up the, the document file, the code, and we just checked it like one character at a time. And you as you can already tell from line, yeah, from line six onwards to line uh, 14, you just had some minor typos and that caused your code to not run. And that's common. Um, so unfortunately, I have, I have no simple uh, solution for that. This is just the reality of a life of a programmer. So it's kind of something that you have to, you, it's a skill that you have to pick up uh, if you want to continue doing programming seriously. Okay, so good job. Oh, Yavi. Yeah, all right. Yavi, let's go ahead, share your screen. I oh, you can't. can't share your screen? How come? You don't have the green button that says share screen? Uh, I think I can... Huh? But what about yesterday? You managed to get that working yesterday. Hmm. Here. Okay. Is, your, okay, is, your device, is your code running? Can you actually play the game? Wait, hold on. I think I can, I'll try something. Can I click like us? I'll click, right click us to start. You are using a different device from yesterday. Uh, okay. What device are you using right now? Is it still a laptop? Okay, let me, let me see. Uh, maybe, maybe even the voice, my vo our voices are not coming through clearly. Okay. Can, can you unmute Yavi so that we can hear you? It's easier that way. All right. Okay, you're unmuted. Okay, and you muted back. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you on the chat what device are you using? If you cannot respond via voice, uh, uh, respond in the chat. Laptop and phone. Okay. Uh, so def you are definitely programming on your laptop. Can you open Zoom on your laptop? Okay, let me share the, I think I'll share the uh, link in the chat and then. Yeah. Oh, oh I, uh, everyone. Okay. 
All right, yes. So yeah, if you want to share a screen, obviously the program has to be running on the device where you want to share the screen. So yeah, no worries. We can wait. Uh, remember, this class is like scheduled for like two hours for today. So we have until 12. Yeah, doing yeah I'm well. sure a lot of them a lot of them have a few questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely going to be after 12. Okay, so Yavi, the link is in the chat. So open that link in your laptop. Yeah, or you can know if you have the Zoom app installed, uh, you can can you pass him the room meeting link? I think that's a shorter number, so he doesn't have to. They Yavi doesn't have to like type all of that up. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me go to yeah. my calendar and put it up. All right. Thanks. Because I'm not sure if I if if I share mine, then he's they suddenly get the admin account or mm -hmm. so I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there you go. So you just need to open the Zoom website if you have a web browser and just go to Zoom and then click on that and then uh, you'll be able to do the share screen thingy. And this is, a, I guess, a good reference as well to anyone who is like uh, in school and then your teachers are encountering these issues. So whatever issues you encounter here, probably your teachers are also encountering as well. So you definitely want to be the student who can do tech support for your teachers. They will owe you a lot and you can call in the favors. I know I did when I was your age, all the way to uh, my undergraduate years. Some special privileges come in when you are the student in class who's able to debug any tech issues. That's a life tip. That's our programmer's tip. <laughs> Okay, where are you now, Yavi? Are you opening the link, uh, the Zoom link or the Zoom app in your laptop? Okay, I don't see, I don't see Yavi's phone either. Oh, I think he left and he needs to come in again. Hmm, okay. Weird, I thought, I thought you'd be able to sign in two devices at the same time. You can actually, because that's what Kelvin's yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There's no reason for Yavi to sign out on the phone. Maybe we should have uh, mentioned that. First. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. We we'll, we learned. We learned. So next time we run this class, we will know to like give those like tips. So maybe while waiting for Yavi, uh Shall we, uh, shall we ask students if you have any uh, curiosity on your code? Oh, oh, the are number, we doing any more coding? The number, the number coding. Do you all have any I'm questions? Gonna, I actually haven't even explained uh, what every yeah. line does yet. So, so I want to get to that first before we open ah, it up to, okay, to okay, general all right. advanced questions. Yeah, so that's why it's crucial that we get uh we get Yavi in up to speed. Yeah. Yeah, I already texted Yavi also, but still waiting mm. on him. Okay, I think this is what we will do. Since uh he's have since Yavi is having technical difficulties, I'll continue the class and then uh afterwards maybe we have a special session with, with just Yavi just to mm. catch Yavi up. Because sure. I think we will have plenty of time. Uh, sure. I think it just takes like 20 minutes to go through this part. Okay, so uh, I'm going to share my screen for the number guessing game. Share. All right. So we'll go through this uh, line by line. Um, I have, I also like, I'm, I'm I also explained it in detail in the write up from uh, page, let's see, where is that? Okay, yeah, from page nine onwards. So if whatever I say here is too fast for you uh, or is, it was unclear or the line cut out, um, as long as you can get to page nine of my course notes, uh, starting from let's make a game, I explain line by line what all of the lines do. 
uh, in a general sense. Of course, if you want to go more into the advanced stuff, you can go online and search it up. So the first line is telling any operating systems out there which recognize it that this is the def that you should be using your default uh, Python interpreter for your environment. So what that means is if you are using a Linux-based operating system like Ubuntu or like me, I'm using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. If it sees this line, you don't even need to name the file a .py file. You can just name it like number underscore guess or even like a, a nicer name like a guess. There's no need for any extensions. You can just click on, double click on the file or run the file through the terminal and it will just work. So um, I'm going to demonstrate that here and I hope it works because last time I broke my, I broke my uh, Python interpreter and it refused to work. So I'm going to just save this as number underscore guess. So let me save it that way. So, so now it has no guess extension. It's, okay, let me see the up one level. Okay, so now we should have another file. So you can see here, there's a number underscore guess and a number underscore guess dot py. So the py file, it's a it's a explicitly stated that it's a because it has the Python extension. So any software will try to run it through a Python interpreter. But if you don't add an extension, this adding a, the first line is a way to tell the software, hey, yeah, I want you to run this file as a Python file. So First of all, uh, because this is Linux, I need to make it an executable first. chmod uh, plus x number underscore guess. So I just made an executable file. Now you can see that its color has changed to green. So that tells you that this is now an executable program. And now I'm going to do number dot s. So you see, I just ran it just like, this is the way to run it through a terminal on Linux, so dot forward slash name of the program. So you can see I didn't put Python anywhere. It immediately knew, hey, let, this is a, because of the first line, it's supposed to be Python. And then you can play the game uh, normally. So we'll quickly, okay, okay, then done. So um, if you don't put this line, you won't be able and this works on all Linux and Unix based operating systems. So Linux, Mac, uh, FreeBSD, so on and so forth. Uh, why this is important is usually uh, if you uh, want to write code like this and uh, you are building it for IoT devices or you're deploying it on servers, um, you will want to make sure that it's compatible with Unix based operating systems. So it will definitely run there without you having to do this which is, this is what you normally have to do. Standard, you have to type Python space name of your program. So this is just a way to guarantee that it will work. So I'm interrupting that. Okay, so next line. Uh, blank, because I just want it to look neat. And third line, import random. So this is the first time you're going to import um, a specific package. This package is what we call a module using Python lingo. So the random it itself is just a function, like how you wrote your hello world uh, function or here how you wrote your main function. Some uh, very, very smart group of people wrote a random function, a pseudo random number uh, generator. And because it's a very uh, reusable piece of code, they packaged it up as a module and put it into the main Python repositories. So everyone can reuse it. There's nothing stopping you from writing your own code to generate random numbers if you want, but it will probably take you far, far too long to get it done and done correctly. So uh, in a lot of situations, you may find yourself like wanting to take the shortcut and the shortcut here is the right way to do it. So find uh, packages which are going to do what you want it to do anyway and just rent and just import that module. So this is what we are doing. We are importing someone's code to generate random numbers. Okay, so fifth line, 
Remember yesterday where you defined a hello uh, function? So today we are going to define uh, a function to do guess to do number guessing. So I'm going by convention here uh, because this is the main uh, program that you want to run, the main function in this program. Uh, I called it main. And I'm just following convention. You can name it anything you want. You can name it like define uh, this as guess, for example, if, if you so wish, or guess number, or whatever it is that strikes your fancy. In fact, That's is right. it okay if you like don't write the def main and that main? Is it okay if you just write that bottom part without the def define without, main? Without defining the main? Yeah. Uh, yes, there you can run code without defining a function, but that's not the recommended way of programming in Python. Um, because the, the developers, they if want you're to do it to... multiple times, then you have to do it a lot of times. Uh, yeah, that's right. If you had, if you did not define your function here, that means next time when you, let's say you want to uh, reuse your code here again. So, then you have to, let's say you didn't define the function, but you have, for some reason you want to reuse it. Then you actually, you may uh, find yourself having to like copy and paste everything here uh, again so that it works. So it's kind of, it, it's, it's pretty much a, a way to guarantee that your code is reusable. Like how people like want to use random. Instead of, in, imagine if someone passed you like, 600 lines of code just to generate a random number and random variables. Uh, that's going to make your code very long unnecessarily. So why not just write it as a function? And then after that, if you need to import it, import it as a random. In fact, there are, there are tricks in, in an advanced class that, that I'm planning right now, which would teach you how to do that. You can chain, you can package this up as a module. So in other programs that you're writing, let's say that this is your a number guessing game like number guess right now instead of import random i can like in a future program maybe i could do like import number uh guess for example and then that would import a number guessing game into your other program so this is pretty cool if you want to like if you're writing a a gaming program and you want to put mini games into your program so then you can just import those other codes into it so yeah it's a very good question it's a very pertinent question why, why do we even bother defining it in the first place? It's to make your code more portable and reusable. Okay, so sync line, doc string. So doc string, just a single line explaining what the game does. Uh, so we are going to set it up so that you guess a number between one to 100. Line seven, print guess the number. So this is when your game first initializes, like you see here, it will give instructions to the player to guess a number. After that, we will initialize an X uh, variable with a random number. So this is where it gets a, a bit more cooler. Uh, how, how we actually use Com sub component. Uh, uh, we call those sub -component. This is the method we are using, the method inside of the random module. And the random integer is between 1 to 100. So if you recall from your mathematics classes, an integer is just a whole number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's no 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Okay, line 10. We need to initialize the guess variable. So when x, x is the variable that your computer is going to set as the random number. Guess is the variable where your player will input a number that they want to guess. So because it, we just want to initialize it to make sure that it's there first, uh, we don't want to fill it with anything. We are going to initialize it with none. So it will be ready to accept input. So line 12 is when we start our while wow loop. So if you don't know what while wow loops are, that's fine. You just wrote one or you managed to type one up. A while wow loop simply goes around and around like a, uh, making guesses until it hits a specific variable you want it to, to hit. 
uh, which breaks the program so or stops the program so this that's what you did you want this program to keep offering your player uh, the chance to guess the number until they guess the right number so that's why the, this construct right here on line 12 when x which is the number that uh, your computer selects through the random method uh, random integer method does not equal to the number that the player inputs as long as this statement is true keep running this software keep to say not equal to the act the, the this means if double equal sign means equal to if you see this sign uh, exclamation point equal that means not equals to so as long as this statement is true keep running this uh, if elif program okay so line 14 this is where we ask uh, we define a place for the player to type in their input so that's that's what this input function is so input function as you can probably tell from the coloring it's just a message here pick a number between 1 to 100 there's a space here because if you don't add a space there won't be a space in between the answer that the player will provide versus the question and make sure that you have the left and right parentheses uh, set up correctly if it's imbalanced in any way as you could tell just now um, the program will not work there's an int here after the guess because this is this is kind of like a check to make sure that whatever is typed into it is an integer so if you type uh, something that is not an integer it will try to turn it into an integer and if it cannot do that then this program will uh, crash okay finally this is your logic sentence if x equals to guess you can see the double equal sign here if this statement is true print a congratulatory sentence so i decided to print eugenius and break break here means just stop this while loop or stop the program uh, it can be used in a lot of places but in, in this sense we are just stopping the while loop but if x does not equal guess there are two conditions which could be possible so the number could be larger than the guess the number could be smaller than the guess so that's why we have two else if statements so this is where like in python it gets a bit more specialized um, other programming languages you may see them have mouse statements in python the recommended way of doing it is if you have only uh, two possible outcomes then you should just use if and else but if there are multiple outcomes like in this case it could be correct it could be larger than it could be smaller than so that's already like three options so multiple more than two uh, then you should use elif so elif here is x if uh, your guess is smaller then the number that was chosen uh, print try a bigger number so that's that's where you get the hint and if elif here your guess is more than the number that was chosen then you should try a smaller number and finally we want to execute the program with me okay so i know that's a lot uh, and if you couldn't follow uh, me while i was explaining it don't worry Everything I have said is written down in the course materials. Uh, so you can always double check that. But I would be happy to answer any of your questions uh, right now. So what questions do you have? Now it's time to ask. Oh, oh, Yavi, entering the chat room. OK, I just admitted Yavi in. Okay, so Yavi, I will help you out individually afterwards. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just uh, explaining uh, the code to everyone. I just explained it to everyone just now. Okay, for some reason, your Python has every Python file, you want extension, it says uh, reload required. Okay uh yeah then that seems like uh there's something 
something about your setup. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, maybe you share your screen. Go ahead, share your screen. Yeah, yeah, V, don't worry. We will we'll catch you up afterwards. Okay. Yeah, we on. Go go ahead. Share your screen. Oh, please reload. Okay. You have an extension update. So just close Visual VS Code and, and reopen VS Code. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we uh we will help. First of all, I will help you out afterwards to make sure that your code runs. Uh, after that, uh, we, will, we will discuss what uh, the guessing game code does. So yeah, just try to get the guessing game code running on VS Code first. All right. So yeah, any other questions? Okay, yeah, we, that's fine. Uh, it's, it's as simple as reopening VS Code and typing everything out again and uh, seeing that it runs. So just go ahead and, and do that. Uh, it looks like Atika will guide you personally. Okay, so if, if there are no questions about my explanation just now, um, what I want you all to try now would be the final two questions. Uh, on page 13. So, okay, I want to see whether you understand how to modify the code just to use else instead of elif. So, as I explained just now, elif uses more than two outcomes, else just needs two. So, how so this is a question about your creativity. Can you modify this number guessing game so it uses? Else instead of elif, so go ahead. You have and to do else and then if something something and then if something. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I just want you to try to replace this code to use else instead of elif. So you're making the code simpler. Uh, you're not making it more uh more complicated. So Hello, I Yami. leave that okay. up, up so to your Are you on your laptop? Okay, so open VS Code, the app. Okay, so you didn't save the code just now, is it? Okay, so don't worry. Uh, do you have the PDF notes? Okay, all right. So uh, question number two. Question number two is a bit more advanced. So you, you saw me just now explaining about random modules and methods. So I use the random module and I use uh, the random integer method. So this is a, a test of your resourcefulness. See how you can modify your code to use a different method. It's not going to be random int, it's going to be something else. So try to see whether you can modify your code to do that and then uh, we will check and see how creative you are in modifying the code. So that's one and two. And if you manage to get one, okay, this is where uh, everyone, I would like, everyone needs to put down their hands. Yeah, let's see if we can, we can put down everyone's hands. Okay, awesome, good, good, good. Yeah, so if you have your hands up right now, uh, you have the tick sign, please uh, remove the tick sign. Okay. So Jeremy, Justin, Sinru, okay, Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy, Sinru, put down your yes uh, reactions. Okay, Jeremy, can you hear me? Jeremy Lim, are you in? Hello, Jeremy. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to assume that somehow or other my voice is not getting through to Jeremy. Yeah, no worries, Atika. I figured that was going on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. If you manage to finish uh, question one, um, please raise your, your hands. Okay. Hey, wow. Good job, Calvin. Okay. Let me see how many people managed to finish uh, question number one. Modify your code to use else instead of elif. Okay, yeah. Very good, Wei Heng. Very good, Kaijin. Okay, so, um, so let's uh, and the rest of you. I'm going to guess you're you're working on. Uh, you can try working on that part of the exercise. We'll give you like uh, five minutes. I'll give you five minutes or so to see if you can modify your code so it uses else instead of elif. So my else on line 19 is wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, well, if that's like, uh, I'll give you, yeah, that's 11.55. Yes, until 11.55. Try and see whether you can do some last minute debugging. So yeah, this is this is more or less the final test to see how how many of you uh, are able to creatively figure out uh, the right answer. And it's it's a pretty quick modification. So I'm going to give you plenty of hints. Here you are deleting more things than adding more things because again, else is a simply is is more simple than elif. Else just uses two statements. Let me make sure the chat is up. Okay. Oh, yes, I have a direct message. Uh, can we still use Elif or just use one Elif? Okay, you remove Elif entirely. Don't use Elif at all, just use else. That's one way hung. Okay. If X is want to try print a bigger number else, can it be like that? Yeah, yeah. Technically, hey, Chloe messaged me with uh, uh, alternative. Yes, technically speaking, you can use else that way. You are answering the question, um, but it's, that's not in the spirit of how you should be using else. So else is you just make it simple. It's just two answers. It's either answer A or answer B. So see if you can simplify it further. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, three minutes away. Okay, good job. Looks like uh, more people who managed to solve this with an elif, uh, with an else instead of elif. <laughs> Okay, good job. Good job. I see more people are messaging me directly their answers. Well, yeah, there's a, um, it, it could, if your code runs, you can do some checks to make sure that it runs and uh, see if it works. If it works, that means it works and you manage to answer this question, get else working. 
So yes, I'm answering to a direct message. That's that's not available. Is it only anymore. having two lines? It can only have two lines if you want, as long as you simplify the code. So you don't don't make it more complicated. Yeah, you are welcome. Okay, and I am modifying my code as well. Okay, I've modified mine sufficiently to add a debugger as well. So I'm going to teach you all how to use debuggers. All right, let's see how many people manage to modify the code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then uh, a few people who cannot respond with, with emojis. Yeah, okay, you got it right, breakouts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let me keep scrolling. Okay, awesome. They put, so, a, they put an arrow up next to my L's. <laughs> hey, well, we will we can we can check out your code uh afterwards. Uh, just just to see whether you answered it in the true spirit of, of the code. Okay, so I think now is a good time for uh for a review. So I'm going to choose the first person who raised their hand. So Kelvin, go ahead and share your screen. I want to I wanna see your solution to the issue. Kelvin, are you there? Okay, so I'm going to guess Kelvin's not there. Uh, okay, then the latest person who, who like uh, told me they managed to get it working. So that will be Wen Li. Wen Li, would you like to share your screen? Let's let's see uh, your solution. So there's no like wrong answer here. Uh, no, definitely wrong answer. As long as you can get else working, I consider you have managed to complete the question. After that, it's just a degree of its appropriate usage. Okay, thanks, Wen Li. Okay, let's see how you changed it. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and you made it simpler because you figured out that 100 numbers is a bit much. So, okay, good job as well. Uh, changing it to rent int. Okay, so yeah, everyone, I hope you understood uh, what happened there. If not, I'm going to share my screen now. Um, and I'm going to show you how I modified my code. It's it's very very similar to uh, how uh, Wen Li did it just now. So I'm going to share my entire screen because for some reason Zoom suddenly doesn't let me pick and choose what to share. Okay, so here's how I did it, and I'm going to make sure. Okay, I thought you knew keep everything. All right, so I'm gonna make sure the chat is up as well. So I can see when you all send me messages. Okay, so um, this is how I modified it. You see, I just replaced, I deleted all of the lines with Aleph and then I just replaced it the same way that only did it. So I just took, put, else try a different number. If X is, is still the same. So remember, else is usually used when there are only two choices. It's either you are right or you're wrong. One trick that I recommend doing if you do this is, remember that in X line nine, you are getting the computer to assign a random number to X. So if you are testing out at like 100 numbers, it's going to be a lot. And you just want, if you want to make sure your code works, you can do this. This is like a cheat code. And this is actually what cheat codes are. Tell it to print out X into the terminal. So when we do that, you can see, guess the number, and in here it's debug, it says 37. So we will purposely try wrong numbers first. And then after that, we will try 
a right number, 37. Ta-da! So this is how I know that my code works. And then after you are done, you can remove this code or you can comment it up. So it, so when you package your game, it doesn't like uh, spoil the game for people who are trying it out. Okay, so uh, here's where I thought I you knew choose both of them still. I thought you knew keep both of them. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, why this is keep why. cannot keep cannot? Uh, let me see. I don't know who is talking right now. Uh, okay. Uh, do you, I did I did not see who was asking the question right now. Uh, what, oh, what was just Justin? now. In fact, I choose two. Uh, I wanted to do two of it, but at the end is because that now I know that it's only one because I thought that Neil choose two. Yeah, you yeah. Have two inside the else. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no worries. That's why that's why we have a discussion session after we attempt these questions. So you can understand uh further what you need to try. Okay, so uh that's for that's for this simple modification. So the next one is a lot more interesting. Who managed to solve question number two? Uh, oh yeah, a lot of people are still raising your hands. So uh, I have to, I'm going to have to ask you. What is question to... number two? Okay, question number two is, oh, oh, I can't bring it up. Okay, question number two is, is this. So look up the random module and its methods. Can you change your randomly generated variable to something else? What other parameters did you modify? So this is on page 13 of the course materials. So you mean that try the try to change something other than one to one hundred, right? Yes, yes. If you do the changes here correctly, like right now it's using random. Is it like right? can we use numbers also? Yeah, you can. So I'm gonna make sure that you all understand by putting question marks here. So you see line nine. I want you to try changing the rand int method to something else. This is where you need to do a bit of investigation on the random module. What other things can you use other than ran int? And then replace it. And once you replace it, of course, this will probably change. Change what? Here, you see, I changed ran int into question marks, right? This is where you are supposed to fill it with something. Okay. Yep. So then this is the final challenge. This is more, this is more advanced. So if you already have the answer, uh, feel free to share it with us. So for this, I'll give, yeah, we are a bit over time. We are going to be a bit over time already, but that's fine. Uh, Cause this, this question is included as a test to see which one of you really, really understands how to do Python programming. Okay, sorry, Jupin, can you catch me up? Because I was helping Yavi just now. So what's happening right now? Oh, yeah, we already done discussing question number one. So now it's more the more advanced question number two, which I don't expect everyone to, to uh, be able to answer. But some, so you, some people so the, may be able to answer it. So, you, right, you, uh, so ideally, you want all of them to try number one, right? Yeah, 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 okay. exactly. All of them should try number one. Okay, if you right. can get number one, that's that's uh that's perfect. Mm, okay. Number two, if you can't get it, that's okay. It's more advanced. Okay, so Chloe, um, that looks a bit different from from what I am looking for. But since one of you is already at the stage where you're attempting it, I am going to, uh, share the answer, ish. Not not the direct answer. I'm going to share. Yes. Okay. See here, I've opened the website, the Python random module. So where where did I get ran in from? Here. So you can see that's one of the methods. Return a random number between a given range. You can choose other methods as well. As you can see right here. So okay. I'm not going to go further than this. Uh, I'm going to give you exactly 60 seconds to see whether you can substitute this with 
one of the methods. So it's now 12.02, we'll give you until just 12.03. So you have one minute to quickly modify your code to see whether or not it works. And uh, after this, don't leave the class immediately. We want to take a screenshot of everyone's faces. So I'll be asking you all to turn on uh, your cameras so we can take a screenshot for posterity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To celebrate kudos yeah. to everyone. <laughs> exactly. So yep, W3 schools. That's one website you can use. I, I won't limit you to any website as long as you can get to a website which shows the same thing that it showed me just now. So while you're all doing that, I am going to modify my code as well. So I'm going to choose one that is a bit simpler to implement. It will be more difficult for the player to solve. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then a debugger. That's what I was missing. Brilliant. Okay. All right, I'm done. So I'm going to assume that some of you may be done as well. Uh, anyone want to volunteer to share their code with uh, the class? If you manage to solve question number two. If you do, just uh, simply share your screen. I'm going to give you like uh, five seconds to decide to flex on everyone how much of a lead coder you are. No? No volunteers? Okay, in that case, I will share mine then. Number guess. Hey, yes, I can share the thing again. Okay, so you can see right now I have uh, line number nine has been changed. So I've changed it to uh, uniform. So uniform is a different method. It's going to choose a random number. Okay, good job, Kwanye. Yeah, so mine is mine's going to change it to a uniform number between one, one to 10. So this one returns a float number, a floating point number. So uh, your school probably won't cover this and you probably won't learn about this until university, but this is what it looks like. So you can see it's going to ask you to, even though I chose just between one to 10, the number is 3.98, blah, 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 blah. It's pretty long and it's impossible to guess. So this one is even less likely for uh, someone to guess. So that's a really simple uh, way to change it. Okay, so since Kuan Yue uh, and Wei Heng, okay, yeah, yeah you, you two uh, uh, want, to show, want to show me what you've done? Let's, let's see how you make the game more impossible to play or more easier to play, it depends. So Wei Heng, go ahead. Can you share your screen? Oh, you can't? Okay, Kuan Yue, can you share your screen? Oh, your different devices. Okay. All right then, Kuan Yue, go ahead. And let's see how you uh, modified the game. Okay, random range, one to 100. Okay. Uh, let's, let's put a debugger. So do the same thing that I did. So insert a new line after line nine. So uh, do print X after line nine, like I did. Yep, no spacing, just print. And then left parenthesis and X. Yep, okay, now run your code. Okay. Oh, run, run it again. 
Let's run it again. Just, just now it was uh, accepting input. 15. Okay, great. So looks like the ran range is also a, a generates an, a random integer as well. All right, good job. Excellent work. Thank you very much. Okay. I tried yes. random and range before, but I didn't try them together. Yeah, I'm, there's, there's definitely some like uh, specializations that I, I'm not sure as well why sometimes they, they seem to duplicate. Let's see. Ran range oh, description. Start, stop, step. Ah, okay, okay. All right. So if you are on, I'm going to share the entire screen right now. So just, just because you brought up ran range, I announced, I'm, I was curious why why this exists. So remember yesterday when, when uh, some of you asked what should we put inside of the, the parenthesis? And I said, don't worry about it, you will learn. And today you are figuring out yourselves. So like here, for ran range, instead of just accepting two, it accepts three inputs. So ran range, and there's a start, an integer, where to start, default is zero. You see, we, here I'll start at one, stop. So I'll say stop at 10. And optional increments, how, how, what to increment it by. So instead of incrementing it by uh, one, which is the default, let's see if I can increment it by 0 0.5. So I'm gonna increment it by 0 0.5. And looks like it will not accept 0 0.5. So looks like it will not accept floating numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to two instead. And there we go. So now you can see, guess the number, it's three. And since we start at one, it will never be an even number. Okay, pretty cool. So I'll stop share now. Uh, can Python be programmed for crypting? I'm guessing you, you mean encryption. Yes, you can. Uh, there are various modules that allows you to encrypt uh, messages if you want. But if you're sending encrypted messages, it's best to use uh, uh, proper encrypted chat messages like matrix or wire or signal, so on and so forth. Yeah, but, uh, if you, but yes, encryption algorithms are built right into it. Okay, so uh, after this, we will, I think we are ready to take a photo now. So congratulations, everyone. You managed to complete our class. Uh, and then after this, I will help Atika out with Yavi. Uh, to catch Yavi up with everyone. So, okay, everyone, turn on your cameras. Let's take a screenshot. <laughs> hey, everyone. Oh, you took off your mask. I was like wondering why did Atika put on a mask at home? Ah. But you are at the size cluster. Yeah, 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 I'm cluster. <laughs> so, let's see all those big smiles, everyone. Uh, okay, let's so give maybe, it a few I'll... seconds. Somebody, uh, some people are still connecting their camera. Yeah, yeah. I'll post with my, I'll post with my uh keyboard so y'all know which which teacher this is. This is the one, this is the one uh, class you took from the person who spent Kelvin maybe like up to thousand six hundred ringgit on keyboards. <laughs> Look at Kelvin. Same <laughs> old post. If I ever see one. Hold on, Kelvin. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wow. Well, if you want to hold that pose for the next 60 seconds, sure. It will be good exercise. <laughs> hold on. Let me make sure my screen is big enough. Uh, Chloe, Lawrence. Yeah, there, there are a few. Nicholas, Jeremy. Oh, Chloe can't. She just messaged me. Oh, she just messaged you. It's okay. All right. Okay, okay. that's fine then. Uh, All the right. other three, you guys, malu malu ke? <laughs> okay, so all right, Kelvin, you can you can turn your camera on and do your dab now if you want. <laughs> Kelvin has JSEP background. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> oh, he took it's Kelvin took the time to change the background <laughs> before coming back online. Jeremy, Jeremy, are you joining us? I, I just want to check before I take a photo. Jeremy, are you joining us? Don't worry, Yavi. Everybody looks weird at this point. Yeah. Jeremy, Lawrence, can you respond? Uh, Lo yeah. uh, Lawrence, I think camera's not working. So it's okay. Chloe, not working. I'm waiting for Jeremy, actually. Yeah, Jeremy is not responding. 
to me either through direct messaging. And okay. just now when I asked the question whether he is in, he didn't respond. Okay, all right. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take a photo with whomever yeah. is here then. All right. Hey. I'll stop sending messages in the chat box. Huh? If not, if screenshot, I'll screenshot chat box instead. Okay. <laughs> Big smiles, everyone. Big smile. All right. All right. Thank you for participating, Big everyone. Smile. Wait, wait. Big smile. Not yet. I haven't taken yet. Big smile, everyone. Three, two, one. Okay. Let me see if everybody is happy with their photo. <laughs> okay. And for share screen. Okay. Good job. Let me see if everybody is happy with their photo. Can you guys see my screen? Yep, yep, we can. So is everybody happy with your photo? Or you guys want to take again? I'm, I'm good, but I'm okay. I look with... flawless. Yes, you do, Yavi. You look flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, Yavi. You do look flawless. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Zuping, just to check, everyone completed exercise number one as a requirement uh, for this class. So yeah, I think I think we have to like get them to send it to uh, us one at a time. Yeah. Make okay. Sure. So guys, listen up, ah. Check in the chat box, okay? Can you check in the chat box? I'm going to send in two email addresses, okay? Yeah, so this is a requirement to get your certificate. Yeah, you yeah, must certificate. at least be able to answer question number one. So I think that's pretty easy because we all discussed the answer just now, but it's to make sure you understand. It's more important that you understand how it works. Okay, can everybody see the chat box? Do you see two email addresses? Do we have to send it to both of them? Yes, send your code to both these email addresses. Yeah, one is to Atika, one is to me. So events so, is me, network is Juping. I'm going to put it up again, all right, so that everybody can see. Okay, I'm going to leave it here until the end of the class. Make sure everybody gets this email address, okay? And then send the Visual Studio Code file. Do we have to send the file or just the coding? Uh, just send the Python file. That will, send that will the do. Python file. We can okay. open it from our end. Okay, yeah, send the Python file. So this is how I'll test it. I'll test it. See if else works. If else works, you pass. You get you get your cert. And uh, yeah. And if you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to ask in the discussion tab on our GitHub repository. So I already showed it to you all yesterday. But uh, yeah, just reminding you all, uh, oh. we we don't stop helping you after this. Mm. If you need more help, go ahead and ask over yeah, there. Exactly. So shall we give them until Friday? Is Friday? Yeah. Sufficient time for everyone? Send your oh, okay. file by Friday. Yes. Uh, see if you can understand e how email works first. So okay. <laughs> send, send so just to make sure, just to make sure everybody understands, send in your Python file, the one you discussed with Juping. Only then I can give you your cert. You don't send your file, I assume you didn't try, so you don't get your certificate. Okay. Okay. Oh, someone was trying to ask a question. Uh, go ahead, whomever that was. All right, I'm just going to pull out somebody and ask them to explain everything again so that I know everybody is on the same page. Let me see who, who is going to get the short <laughs> Okay. Spot. Okay, Sinru. Sinru, can you use your microphone and explain to everyone what I just said? I want to make sure everybody understands. Sinru, are you there? Might not work. That's Might what Sinru is okay, typing. Uh, maybe Jia En, is your microphone working? Can you explain to everyone what I've just said so that I know everyone understands? Yavi, uh, you send the, the Python file, not a screenshot, the actual Python file that you write. Yeah. And it must be answering question number one. But don't worry, because you had technical difficulties just now. After this, I will help you out more if you yeah. want to stay behind. Yeah. If not, you want to go it on your on your own, that's fine too. 
Okay, so, send the Python file to get the cert. Exactly. Okay, teacher, I already sent it to you. Okay, wow, thank you. That was fast. Job. So let me see if if it's the correct one. Let me see if I received it or not. Okay, so I have one now from... Oh, yes. You should definitely write down your name. If you don't write down your name... Yeah, please we, write down we, your name. We June. have to guess from the email address. And if your email address is some weird stuff, we will have to assume this is someone we don't know. Uh, Junit, not, not, not the hello world. We don't want the hello world. We want the guessing game, the one with number one question. See, everybody's confused already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody's okay. confused already. Sending in the wrong file already. Uh, no, so mine's it's, okay. It's the file just that uh, the name is Hello World because I used back the... Oh, uh, I see, I see. Okay, all okay. Right. okay. So you you don't... this Take this as a lesson. If you are collaborating with other people on other projects, you don't mm. want to make their life harder. So okay. if you do that, I will actually still consider it wrong. All right. Make, so, uh, make sure she... even your file name is correct and there's no point of confusion that it is the number guessing game answering question number one. Mm. Yeah, and you modified it so that it used out. Yes, yeah, and send question one. Exactly. So, teacher, is my one okay? Justin, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to share my whole screen. One, I'm going to share my whole screen just to make sure. Okay, you are sending in your yes. code. For this page, for this oh, question I didn't that I'm send highlighting. this page. No, ah. no, no, not this page. Send your question. I that send the coding. Send, yeah, yeah, yeah. Send correct, your correct, 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 correct. Yeah, answering question number one here on page thirteen. I didn't this write answering line. like I didn't write the question there, but no, I. No, it's did. okay. It's okay. That's, That's fine. Coding. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's very straightforward. I don't need to you to like rewrite the question or whatever. Just make sure that. I know exactly what it is, that it is for your number guessing game. And as soon as I look at it, I want to see that you are using else instead of elif. And I know your name is there. That's how I know you understand uh, it. And then we will give you the set. That's all. Okay. So I'm not going to check one by one now. First thing first is like Juping said, send it to the email. It's in the chat box. Alamak, I direct message. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Yavi. Uh, you if you want to leave, that's perfectly fine. But make sure that you can answer the question. <laughs> if not, you will not get the cert. We are serious about this. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So Yavi, if do you, you want to stay or do you want to leave? Mm -hmm. Do you want to stay and make sure your code runs first? Okay, any other, other question? Okay, Yavi will stay. All right, Yavi, all right, all right. Yavi will stay after this. Last okay. reminder, everyone. Last reminder, okay? Juping showed question number one. Okay? Uh, yeah, let me share my screen. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, scrolling. <laughs> scrolling the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go up. 13. Yay. That Yay. Is it. Okay. This one, everyone. This one. See here? This is the one we want. Send to the email address in the chat box. Send the code, your Python file code. Send this. We will check and give you your certificate. Okay. Send the code. Yep. Send the send the file code la. Send the file code. The Python code. Okay. What's the standard word to use here, Juve? File or send, code? Send your program. <laughs> send your program. Send your app. You just wrote an app. Okay. I'm gonna send your Python file. The file. Okay. File. Attach the file. Is that clear? Okay. Good. Then it's clear. Yeah, because file in the Venn diagram, file refers to everything. Okay, on computer, good. Actually. Everybody's clear now. File uh, for number okay. one. We will check and give you your cert after checking. You have until Friday. Okay, until mm. Friday. And then next week, we will send in the cert to you. Send the cert to you, right? Uh, last but not least is, let me unshare. Survey form, and then you can all go home. 
and then we are done. Okay. So the survey, yeah. the survey link is in the chat box. Yeah, we just we want to know uh, how what you, you what you thought about the class and everything, and then we'll improve it uh, for the next round. Uh, Yavi, um, yeah, just stick around after this. We these are all like the stuff paperwork that we need to get done. Okay, can everyone fit, take just? It's literally one minute only. Fill in the form. Can you all fill in now? Yavi also, can you fill in the form? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so I already took down attendance. Yeah, it's fine. Fill in 14 years old. Fill in as of your year. It's fine. What, what form are you in right now? Fill it according to that. Let's just standardize that. Fill it according to your form level. If your form... Yeah, what are the questions I need to answer? What's that? What's that, Kelvin? Questions I need to answer inside the Google form. Yes. I'm going to put the Google form again, all right? If somebody missed it. Okay, that was fast. All right. So I'm waiting for 16 people to answer. Okay, while everybody's answering, thank you so much everyone for joining us. We hope we hope Python is bearable after this for all of you. <laughs> yep, and if uh, you are thinking of coding and uh, you don't like this session, uh, we consider your career choices. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> it's far, far more difficult after this. If you want, like, uh, I, can, I can show you my 5,000 line code that I did for my master's. And I have a master's in biology. So even biologists have to do coding now. You have to think really, really carefully about uh, whether or not this is something you want to do. It's difficult. It's not going to be easy. OK, so Kuan Ye. What number are you asking for? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, Konya, you can actually check your email. My number is in the email already. When I send in the Zoom link to your email, so you can check there. My handphone number is there. Yep. Any questions to answer? Just the number one question, Kelvin. Just that question. Send in the Python file to the email address. Okay, I finished the Google form. Okay, all right. Okay, Yavi, uh, maybe you want to share your screen. Duping can take a look. Everyone else, again, thank you so much for coming in with us and joining two days worth of class with us. Yes, thank you so much. Once you're done, you can leave, okay? Thank you, everyone. You've been right. wonderful students. Honestly, I yes. would say you're more adept students than I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, saying a lot because Atika also has a master's. Oh, but maybe <laughs> master's, yes, not the patients probably. <laughs> you have no idea how many questions I asked you. Think. Oh my God. No, that, that's, why, that's why you are a graduate student. You need to learn how to ask questions and be patient while you, you get your answer. So, yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Yes, if you're done, you can leave. In Thank you, everyone. Indeed. See you guys. Because now now we are just going to help. Future. We are going to help Yavi out. Yeah, we are going to help Yavi. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Remember, further questions, Bye. just go to the GitHub repository. Bye-bye. Bye. Teacher, -bye. Bye. Oh, you got my form ready, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, OK. Welcome, Wei Heng. Welcome, Nicholas. Bye. Yes. I'm glad to hear that it was fun. All right, bye. Hopefully we can see each other physically after the pandemic in two years or so. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, okay, Yavi, um, can you turn on your mic or something?